All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in JWing 2022. This is a trigonometric question. And this question, we are supposed to find the value of 2 sine 12 degree minus sine 72 degrees. All right. So when you see 12 degrees and 72 degrees, and then you try looking at this, you think that can I split this 72 degree into 16 and 60 and 20, 12 degree? And would that help? So that is what is your first thought. And then you would try looking at that, right? So let's try seeing whether it is helping. So let's say I've got two sine of 12 degrees minus sine of 72 degrees. And then I'm converting this 72 degrees into sine of 60 plus 12 degrees. This is what is my first thought. Then what do I get? I get two sine 12 degree. And then I get sine A plus B, which is sine A into cos B, sine 60 degree into cos 12 degrees minus, not minus plus, cos 60 degree into sine 12 degrees. So why did I do that is because I was thinking that I know the value of sine 60 and cos 60 and then we will see what to do with the other ones later. So this will become 2 sine 12 degrees and then this will become, um, so this will become 2 sine 12 degrees, right? And then we will have sine 60 degree as root 3 by 2. So we'll write this as root 3 by 2 and cos 12 degree as cos 12 itself. We don't know the value yet. And then cos 60 degree would become 1 by 2, right? And then this will become sine 12 degrees, right? So when you look at this 2 sine 12 degrees and 1 by 2 sine 12 degrees, then this will become 3 by 2 sine 12 degrees, right? And then this will become root 3 by 2 cos 12 degrees, okay? Now, this is where you'll have to again think. So this is sine 12, this is cos 12. And this is root 3 by 2. But if I take, let's say, um, root 3 common from here. When I take root 3 common from here, what do I get? I get root 3 by 2 here, sine 12 degrees. And then this will become 1 by 2 cos 12 degrees, right? Now, once I do this, then I see that, okay, can this be written as, let's say, sine 60 degree itself, right? And this is one way. Or I can write it as cos 30 degree itself, right? This can be written as cos 30. This can be written as sine 30. Then I've got a formula here. So this is root 3 and this is root 3 by 2, which is cos 30 itself. Cos 30 into sine 12 and then sine 30 into cos 12 degrees, right? And so this is again sine A into cos B and cos A into sine B. So this will be sine of A minus B, which is sine of 12 minus 30 degree, right? And then at the end, this will become root 3 into sine of minus 18 degrees, which I can write as minus of sine 18 degrees. Now we know the value of sine 18 degree, which is nothing but root 5 minus 1 by 4, right? But there is a minus sign before this. So this minus sign goes inside, right? And this will become 1 minus root 5 by 4. And then there is a root 3 over here. So yeah, that is what will be my value. And this is what is your option number four. Okay. So there are several ways to do it. This is one of the ways uh, uh, you can do it. You can as well split sine 12 degrees into sine 12 plus sine 12 minus sine 72 degree. And then again, try to solve that. But again, whatever you do, you'll have to do it in two steps. And then once you get to the second step, then you got to substitute certain values. All right. So yeah, that's all for this question. Uh, in this question, you need to know this value of sine 18 degree. Then only you will solve this problem. Okay. Um, so yeah, figure this out as in how to find this. Okay. So that's all for this question. If you got any queries, do ask me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day.